on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, we have two very special guests and another special guest i'll explain right now you are looking at the spelling bee champions of this year 2016 and we congratulate both nihar and j rom for their accomplishments it's the 89th spelling bee. tell me about how it felt you guys tied and it's the third tie in a row three years in a row there's only been six total since the beginning of time how did it feel when you finally nailed this I felt very great, and I was so excited that I was almost speechless. You were almost speechless. That was good. What about you, Jerome? Come on. Did you really? What were your chances of winning? Well, I didn't really expect myself to win, but like once it came down to Nihar and me, it, I thought we were encouraging each other so that we could possibly do co-champions. By the way, I noticed when I was watching the Spelling Bee, everybody was clapping for the other, and I did like that sportsmanship. I thought that was really, really very nice. And when we talk about this Spelling Bee, we have to note that EW Scripps is behind this, and there's $40,000 prize, a $2,500 prize from, Mer from uh, Merriam-Webster, as well as some more prizes. Tell us about EW Scripps. This is the CEO, uh, Richard Bainey, and he's going to explain about why EW Scripps has done this and how many years. Yeah, we, we've done it for 75 years and it kind of comes out of our newspaper heritage. We used to own a lot of newspapers. This was a, a newspaper promotion that grew into uh, more of just a national spelling program. Today still some newspapers involved but probably the highlight is the live show on ESPN that people all over the world watch. All right, whose brother won this two years ago? What is the secret in your household? I mean this is crazy. Well, there's not really any secret because I did. I had to work just as hard as him to come and do win this, win it. So basically, what I did was my brother and my mom. They went through the dictionary and like made lists of words and highlighted the words, and that's basically how I studied for the spelling bee. All right. So now you've accomplished this, guys. What's next? Do you have goals for life? What you want to be? Um, I want to be a neurosurgeon and specialize in the brain, and I want to develop major cures for Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, so I want to learn some math and science now. I like that. It's very honorable. And you? Um, well, I'm not exactly sure what I want to be, but I'm just ex getting exposed to different careers, and currently I'm on thinking on the lines of a doctor. I'm not sure. So now you can be in the spelling bee year after year. Are you going to join the spelling bee again next year or it's over now? No. Once, once you win the bee, you can't participate in it, in, it, in it again. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. They can't steal the prize over and over again. Do you get to attend this? Victory rap, lap from here on, right? Just Absolutely. one time win. Absolutely. Well, we want to congratulate you both. And uh, I'd like to see your brother. Can you come out here just so I can see you? Now, your, na your name is, come on, run on out here, just quickly. Where, what grade are you in? I'm in 10th grade currently. Yes. And, and so you want to, tell me about you when you won quickly. Well, it was a great experience. I mean, I get to relive it with my brother, and I'm proud of him, too. <laughs> That's amazing. And now, are you all of Indian descent or not? Yes. You are? Yes. <laughs> tell me just a little bit about your heritage and what it, what it means, like maybe some of the, maybe the rituals or the heritage and how that may have helped you to win. Well, I think it certainly helps that my parents, coming from an Indian background, uh, stress education so much. So with their focus on education, they would always support me and help me with my endeavors in the spelling bee. And they would uh, force me to work hard and uh, persevere, and that's how I, we were all able to do well. All right, I'm going to give you guys a word, and you have to spell it in three parts, because my kids told me this was the word of last year. Iridocyclitis. Go. You know, that's last year, you know, someone spelled that. So. Can you spell it? Yeah. Okay, go. This whole thing? No, Should... just part of it. I'll stop you. I-R-I-D-O-C-Y-C-L-I-T-I-S. <laughs> the Spelling Bee Champions. I'm surrounded by geniuses. Congratulations to E.W. Scripps and these gentlemen, uh, J. Ram, Nihar, and... Shri Ram. Congratulations, gentlemen. Hard work, and it pays off. And we're so thrilled to have you here today. Thanks, guys. Thank you.